Okay, in this type of question, you're given a calculation. And if you look at the following questions, you notice that the numbers here are variations of these first two numbers here, which are multiplying. In fact, the answers for these two questions are also variations of this of this number here. So, first we have 1.54 times 45. 1.54 is the same as this number here. But 45 is 10 times smaller than 450. So we're multiplying 1.54 by a number that's 10 times smaller than this. Therefore, our answer should be 10 times smaller than 693. That means our answer is 69.3. Now here we have 1.54 once again, but now we have 4.5, which is 100 times smaller than 450. So our answer has to be 100 times smaller than 693. So we have 6.93 as our answer. In part C, 0 0.154 is 10 times smaller than 1.54, but 0 0.45 is a thousand times smaller than 450. Now a thousand times by 10 gives us 10,000. That means our answer has to be 10,000 times smaller than 693. So if you do 693 divided by 10,000, leave the decimal point exactly where it is, which is... So we're left with 0 0.0693. And you can see that the decimal place stays exactly where it is, but the digits 693 has moved four places to the right. Now your turn. Try these questions. Solutions will appear very shortly.